More good news from Thailand overnight. Another four kids are out of that goddamn cave. Yeah. Fuck that cave. <laughs> Fuck that cave. <laughs> If you watched our show last night, you would have seen us talking about how Koshi on Sunrise was describing the treacherous conditions inside the cave. The smallest hole is just 38 centimetres high. That is three Mars bars <laughs> laid end to end. No bigger than a human head. Someone described the narrowest bit as three Mars bars in a line. <laughs> Someone described it like that? You described it like that, Koshi! <laughs> I like to think that Koshi measures everything in chocolate bars. <laughs> oh, you're looking for the library? No worries, just head down about 700 Mars bars. <laughs> turn left and there's just 50 curly whirlies on your right. There you go. <laughs> so that was yesterday. Then this morning on sunrise, he was still at it. One of the most dangerous sections of the rescue is where the route narrows to just 38 centimetres high. That's, as you were saying, three Mars bars <laughs> in the end. <laughs> I think Koshi's just hungry. <laughs> but the question is, was the message getting across? Could the sophisticated Sunrise audience have the information, in the imagination, to picture these Mars bars end to end? Well, at 8.35am, it was time to change things up. This narrows just 38 centimetres high. Now, if you want to know that is, <laughs> that's it. Three Mars bars end to end dedication, people. On you, Koshi. <laughs> Sunrise, for people who want to stay informed, but also don't know what a Mars bar looks like. <laughs> i got to say, actually holding up the Mars bars, that's a pretty funny thing to do, Koshi, which is why we did that last night as a joke! <laughs> Stop ripping us off, Koshi! <laughs> Also, remember, if you're looking for a chocolate bar to use as a measurement during an international tragedy on Eat Breakfast Television, choose Mars. <laughs> Mars tastes so good, even Koshi can't explain it. <laughs> oh, fuck. I mean, like, okay. There you go. Sponsor's gonna be angry. Defund. Anyway, enough selling us from Koshi. Let's talk about sensible adults. Former Labor leader Mark Latham has joined One Nation's campaign in the Longman by election. Mr Latham has used a robocall message to attack opposition leader Bill Shorten. Mark Latham, former Labor Party leader. I've had personal experience with Bill Shorten's dishonesty. He just lies and lies and lies. Don't vote Labor. Yes, Mark Latham sabotaging Labor's popularity, this time on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for the people of Longman. Imagine your landline rings for the first time in seven years. <laughs> You pick it up and it's Mark Latham. <laughs> Not even the real Mark, a recording of Mark Latham. Imagine it. Oh, hark! Do my ears deceive me? Tis the jingle box. Who could it be? Elizabeth, for chance? The last time I saw her was on that train to Moscow during the war. Oh, oh, be still my beating heart. I'm Mark Latham. No! <laughs> Damn you, you can! <laughs> Away! <laughs> so after the robocall trashing Labor story, Latham appeared last night on Sky News with Pauline Hanson and with former Labor senator slash power broker slash lobbyist slash commentator Graham Richo Richardson. They did not get along well. It did not go well. What a load hey, of rubbish. No one's taking what a load of rubbish. Well, I'm not taking anything from you. Don't you tell me what's what sad. Sad. You're not just a I'll rat of the load, buddy. Sad. You're a king rat. King rat! <laughs> King Rat, Lord of the Sewers, Emperor of Disease, former leader of the Labour Party. King Rat. I don't think that even works as an insult. Like, if you're going to be a rat, you'd want to be the King Rat. <laughs> Obviously got very heated there. A lot of serious accusations being thrown around. Luckily, nothing sticks to good old Richard. By the way, I stopped taking money from Ron Middich and only took it from his well, brother back because I didn't take. like the ones that right, he was, the people he was take. mixing with. Uh, mate, huh? that's Richard. now 40 years yeah, ago. Richard. What happened? 40 what years happened? ago. They had a royal commission and they went and couldn't find Casey Gully of a bloody thing. Oh, I never had a Swiss bank I'll account tell you what, and that I'll was tell you proven. What? <laughs> I think it's always a good sign when you're on national television yelling the phrase, I never had a Swiss bank account! <laughs> Never! King Rat! King Rat! Rat King! The 
it kept going for ages, all right? And doctors actually advise that you don't watch the whole thing right through. It's too dangerous, all right? So we've we've doctored the footage here. See how you go. Okay. I'm not that taking that was proven. from you. Well, I'm not you taking any from you either. You old yeah. rotten all, I, all I know is about I'm not when it comes to being a shyster, you, don't you ever let to me. No proper the money. Money. Just think you'd appreciate the break in there. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching all at once. <laughs> the same interview, Latham also revealed that he would be interested in returning to federal politics, but he hadn't yet decided on whether or not he was actually going to join One Nation. I've not made any decision. I, I, I do get people urging me, mainly on the basis. They say, you know, the country's gone crazy. <laughs> yes, Mark, the country. <laughs> <laughs> now... <laughs> Tonight, Lee is officially endorsing Mark Latham. I'm, we're getting on board, huh? Let's get up for Latham. <laughs> okay. I, I had to instruct our warm-up guy to go with that one. That was good. <laughs> yeah, oh, really? I love Mark Latham and I endorse him the same way he endorsed us. Right, Mark Latham? This tonightly sounds like a really good show. Thank you, Mark! <laughs> But I don't think Mark Latham should join One Nation or stick around with the LDP or whatever. I think he should bloody well back himself, start his own political party, One Latham. Oh, yes. <laughs> we believe in this so much, we've even made an ad for him. Check it out. Mark Latham. He's the candidate with experience. After laying the groundwork for Labor's landslide victory in 2007 by losing in 2004, <laughs> he's become a respected media figure in television. Sky News has ended the contract of contributor Mark Latham. Radio dropped for attacking domestic violence campaigner Rosie Batty. And the printed word. Mr Latham has been forced to resign from the Australian Financial Review as a columnist. Mark Latham is a candidate of visionary thinking. What's wrong with a bit of unfiltered conversation? So let's get right into it. He's a candidate whose good behaviour has been recognised by the courts. Latham gets two-year good behaviour bond. A candidate who's unafraid to stick up for himself in politics and in taxis. When he broke a cabbie's arm, it was all too real. Mark Latham, the only candidate with a Wikipedia heading titled Incident at Hungry Jacks. <laughs> I'm voting for Mark Latham because I believe in second chances. I'm voting for Mark Latham because I'm full of molten hot rage. Third chances. <laughs> Fuck poo bomb. Fourth chances. I'm voting for Mark Latham because I swear to God he didn't tell me to say this. 58 chances. 59 chances. Please don't break my other arm, okay? I need it. 15 years later, Australia is finally ready. I'm not going to go to the one-year-old party.